Hello everyone, I welcome you to this short video explaining the 8th cranial nerve that is vestibulocochlear nerve. So here in this video I will cover the introduction to this 8th cranial nerve. Then separately we will explain the vestibular nerve and cochlear nerve. So we will be covering the auditory pathway and the vestibular pathway separately. So the vestibulocochlear nerve, the 8th cranial nerve consists of two components the vestibular nerve and cochlear nerve. So these two components are separate entities and which are respectively for hearing and also to maintain the balance or equilibrium. So the vestibular nerve is dealing with the maintenance of balance and equilibrium and the cochlear nerve is dealing with the perception of hearing. So first let us learn in detail about the vestibular nerve. And here the vestibular nerve carries sensation of positions and movements of the head from maculae of the utricle and saccule and crista ambularis in the semicircular ducts. So these organs are located in the internal ear. So the sensory ganglia related to vestibular nerve is called as vestibular ganglion or also called as scarpa's ganglion. This ganglion, vestibular ganglion, is located in the lateral end of internal acoustic meatus. The vestibular nerve begins in the bipolar neurons of the vestibular ganglion. So the bipolar neurons of this vestibular ganglion shows two processes, peripheral process and the central process. The peripheral process of the bipolar neurons passes through the foramina in the lateral end of internal acoustic meatus. And this supplies to the crista ampullaris and the maculae. The central process, that is the axons of these bipolar cells, form a trunk of the vestibular nerve and passes through the internal acoustic meatus. Here, this central process of the vestibular nerve is in close relation with cochlear nerve, facial nerve and the labyrinthine vessels in the internal acoustic meatus. Further, this nerve will reach to the cerebellopontine angle to get attached to the brain stem. Now let us see what are the nuclei related to this vestibular nerve. So the nuclear complex of the vestibular nerve is called as vestibular nuclear complex. This consists of various nuclei like inferior, superior, lateral and medial subdivisions. So these are located in the vestibular area of the lateral part of floor of fourth ventricle. Now let us learn the vestibular pathway. The vestibular pathway is for maintenance of balance and equilibrium. The first order neurons of this vestibular pathway are the bipolar neurons which are located in the vestibular ganglion. We have already seen that vestibular ganglion is located at medial end of internal acoustic meatus. The bipolar neurons of this vestibular ganglion shows two processes, a peripheral process and central process. The peripheral process of the bipolar neurons end on the receptors of maculae and crista ampullaris and the central process of bipolar neurons forms vestibular nerve and that nerve will pass through the internal acoustic meatus. The vestibular nerve travels medially through the meatus and enters the subarachnoid space. Then it terminates at vestibular nuclei. The second order neurons are the neurons of the four vestibular nuclei complex. They project to the cerebellum via inferior cerebellar pedangle and also to the motor nuclei of third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves. These connections to third, fourth and sixth cranial nerve that will be through the medial longitudinal fasciculus and again to the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord. 
now let us analyze some clinical uh, conditions which are related to the vestibular nerve so first condition is vertigo so in vertigo there is a sense of rotation of the head so this can happen due to excessive stimulation of semicircular canal in association with nystagmus that is involuntary and coordinated eye movements second condition is tinnitus so the tin tinnitus there is a sensation of dizziness or ringing or hissing experience in the ears the tinnitus may be unilateral or bilateral next is meniere's syndrome or meniere's disease this is characterized by the attacks of tinnitus vertigo and hearing loss and that will be accompanied by a sensitiveness sensitivity to the noise also